for the first body A, okay, you are going to see the distance between the mark or the weight to where we have the center of gravity of this body or where the weight of the body is being concentrated. Okay, for A, it's going to be the mass of the body times, we call it start from here to the center. Okay, so it's going to be capital A times A plus the second body, which is our B, from this point to the center for small b. It's going to be capital B times small b. And this is how to take the moment of a body. And we are going to use this principle to solve some questions. Okay? Apart from that, I, want to, I still want you to take note. If it requires taking forces acting on a body to concentration, there is another law of movement that says the sum of the upward forces will be equal to the sum of the downward forces. And we are still going to do something about that. So, uh, we are going to use the knowledge of this to solve some practical questions. Let's consider question number one. We have the following figure or the following diagram on the board. The question number one says, a 90 centimeter uniform lever has a load of 30 newton suspended at 15 centimeter from one of its ends. If the fulcrum is at the center of gravity, the force that must be applied at its other end to keep it in horizontal equilibrium is, and that is year 2010, question number 10. We have the diagram here. This is our uniform lever. The total length of the uniform lever is 90 centimeter, 0 to 90. And then it is being pivoted at the center. This, we have two loads or two weights that hang on this end, uniform lever. From this um, center, from this pie fort to this side is 45 cm. Automatically, from this center also to the other side should be what? 45. Because 45 and 45 will give us 90 altogether. And we are told that from here to here is 15. Automatically, we are removing 15 from 45 because the whole of this side should be 45. So if we remove 15 from 45, we are going to have 30 cm. And if we are taking the principle of moment into action, we are going to have this is clockwise, this is anti clockwise. And the principle of moment said clockwise moment should be equal to anti clockwise moment. For clockwise, we are going to multiply the weight with 45 because we are taking our moment from where we have our weight or the load to the pivot or the fulcrum. Okay, these points. So it's going to be for clockwise moment, it's going to be W times 45, which is going to be equal to. For anti-clockwise, it's going to be 30 times 30. And what I'm going to have is this. The weight will be equal to 30 times 30 divided by what? 45. And then, if we are to put this into actions, 30 times 30, okay? Or we can try and cut. Let's try and cut. We have um, 5 here 1, okay, 5 in um, 30, we are going to have 6, okay, this is 9, okay, then this is um, um, 2, this is 3, then we have 2 times um, 30 will give us 60, divided by 3, 
3 here 1, 3 here what? 2. So how do we have 2 centimeters? Well, we have um, 2 20 new things because we are looking for weight. It is the weight we are looking for. That's 20 new things. And that is the weight that is supposed to that will be here to keep this body balance. Let's consider question number 2. The question says in the diagram, a rod 50 cm long of uniform cross section is suspended horizontally on a fulcrum F by the action of two forces. What is the weight of the rod? That is year 2007, number 7. We are to calculate the weight of the rod. Look at the diagram. We have this diagram. The total length of the rod is 50 from 0 to 50. And we have two weights at both sides. One weight here, another weight. This is 40 newton. This is 200 newton. And it is being pie for dead at the side close to 200 newton. The question says what is the weight of the rod? What is the weight of the rod? Okay? The weight of the rod is that they are, they are trying to ask us where will the weight of this body be concentrated? Okay? And I'm happy to tell you that the weight of this body will be concentrated at the center. Because this is a uniform rod. The weight will be concentrated at the center and that is what we are looking for. So, let's look at the distance between them. This is 0 to 5. We have 15 here. If you have 5 and we have 15, in between 5 and 15 is 10. This is 45. And, and this is and the, the total length of the rod is 0 to 50. And I told you that the, the, the weight of this rod will be concentrated at the center. Automatically, this is 25. At the center. If from here to here is 50, then at the center it will be what? 25. Half of 50. Good. The difference between 15 and 5 is another 10. The difference between 25 and 45 is 20. All of them they are measured in centimeter because we are told this zero is 50 total length is 50 centimeter. But it is being we are going to calculate all this in meter, even though we are given in centimeter, centimeter. Okay, the options we have there is in meter. So we are going to convert all these centimeter, centimeter, centimeter to meter. And whenever you are Converting a parameter, a certain and uh, maybe the, the measurement from centimeter to meter. What are you going to do? Just divide whatever you are doing with hundred. Divide it with hundred. Okay. If you say ten divided by hundred, that's one point one, one point one, one point two. Okay. So let's now take the moment. The moment we are still going to consider. Clockwise and clockwise. Clockwise moment will still be equal to anti clockwise moment. For clockwise, we have two different weights acting on this body. Let's take it one by one. The first weight is 40. And you are going to take your moment to where we have your fulcrum or pie foot. So we are taking this, the first weight from here to the pie foot. The second weight will be from here to the pie foot. Okay? Let me, we are going to let's have something like this. That's for the first one from weight to the pie foot. The second one from this, we have the weight to the pie foot. Let's take it one by one. We have 40 times. If you are taking the moment from where we have 40 newton to the pie foot, we have two different distances. And if you have 20 
and 10 together, we have 30. And that is 4 times 4.3 in meter now. Because it will be 20, 30 centimeter divided by 100 is 4.3, which is going to be equal to that's 4 okay, sorry, plus the second one, which is weight times 4.1, will now be equal to anti clockwise, which is 200 times 4.1. Let's try to resolve this mathematically. We are going to have, when we have 40 times 0.3, we are having 12 plus, this is an 0.1 W, then if we are we are going to calculate 200 times 0.1 we are having 20 then we can say 0.1 will be equal to 20 minus 12 plus 0.1 will be equal to what we are having here is 8 then you divide 8 divided by 0.1 then what we are having eventually will be equal to 8 divided by 0.1 will be equal to 80 newton because we are looking for force and we are looking for the weight it's going to be 80 newton which means the weight of this body will be concentrated at the center with the value of 80 newton and that is what we are looking for. Let's quickly consider question number three. The diagram about shows a plank harvest five footed at the center of the